Um, the next speech is from Colvia Ranger uh, from the Conservative Party and former Director of Transport Policy uh, for the Mayor of London. I was thinking it was the Boris bike guy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if um, anyone wants to know how to transcend the point of wearing a turban, it's deliver a cycling scheme, and forever you'll be known as the Boris bike guy. But um, good evening, everyone, and uh, I want to just thank uh, British Seek, uh, what, Seek Report and City Seeks for inviting me here to just say a few words about this report, which I've just been looking at. But actually, and thank you, Fabian, for hosting as well. Um, it's amazing to be here in Parliament to launch a report like this, and it speaks volumes for the Sikh community and with the regard that the Sikh community is held as well. But I just want to reflect back a little because actually we have always been held in high regard, whether it's been through our history in the times of the Raj, in times of war, in times of how we've presented ourselves and sat alongside uh, British, the British Army, the roles that we've played. And I, this is not a political point, but I had a story told to me once by uh, Michael Portillo, and I'll tell you at the end why he was telling me this. But he told me about, and he said this before recently, but the summer of 76, he's a researcher, he's in the shadow cabinet meeting with um, the late Baris Thatcher, and uh, the division bell goes. And Lord Carrington says, who was one of the big beasts of uh, the Conservative Party at that point, um, mutters something because Margaret Thatcher says, we've got to go and vote. As you know, she asks, what's the vote for first? And somebody says, oh, it's for the Sikhs. They don't want to wear helmets. And she goes, we must go and vote. And Lord Carrington muttered something. And she said, what? What was that? In only a way that Margaret Thatcher really could. And he repeated. And he said, well, you know, it's ironic. Here we are debating how to keep people out of this country, and you want to go and vote for the Sikhs. This is 1976. Now, I'm sure the issue of immigration still resonates as loudly as it did then as it does now. Different forms, different questions, different uh, answers. But there is always a question about immigration. However, the point here was about Margaret Thatcher's view of the Sikhs. And her response was, they fought for us, I will fight and support them. And it was almost as uh, black and white as that, as she was throughout her career. But it said how people and how she and others respect Sikhs. And over time, we have been respected in this country immensely for the things we've done. My own grandfather came here in the 60s, had a business, set up the first Asian newspaper in the UK, the Punjab Times, um, worked in the Sikh community extensively, advised the BBC. He even in the 80s, did fundraisers for Sir George Young in Ealing. By the way, he could have told me that when I went to become part of the Conservative Party. He didn't. I may have used that piece of information. But what I'm trying to say is we've played a role, but we maybe haven't had as strong a voice as we could have. And that's because we do our thing, we do it well, we have very strong values and we've been very successful. But we've been quite quiet as a community. We don't actually talk a lot about ourselves because we're quite content generally actually and the respect that we found has given us that contentedness but now where we are in modern times the most valuable commodity that there is out there is not money it's data and it's information and I really commend everybody who's been involved in putting this report together because this is the starting point for if you go into Google as I did earlier today and put seeks UK and say what comes up. The initial things that come up, this is quite amusing, was council news, matrimonial and dating. <laughs> so that tells you about the priorities that our community may have via Google. But actually if you go to the Wikipedia page, I hate to say it, but it's pathetic when we look at Seeks UK. It's a very sparse page. It barely tells us that in the 2001 uh, census there was a record of there being approximately 330,000 Sikhs in the UK. That is about all it will tell us. Now, as a community, we need to do more. And it's great to see a lot of young faces. I'm not being ageist here as I uh, age myself. But it's great to see young faces here 
who are driving this kind of report forward, this kind of information, the data about our community, looking to inform, looking to be part of what this will undoubtedly become, the policy discussions that happen in the future, that happen at local council level, in regional government, in city hall, the ones that we used to have, and at a national level. Because without us providing this information, sometimes it's very hard to get. So I commend everybody who's been involved in this. Thank you from myself and for everyone who isn't here for doing it. I know it takes a lot of hard work. I know what it's like to produce these kinds of things. Um, it isn't easy. Uh, a lot of dedication has gone into this. And this will not only inform non-Sikhs, it will inform Sikhs about themselves. So well done. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Thank you.